<laughs> I like it. Welcome back to the cafe. The biggest sporting event, the World Masters Games, is about to descend on Auckland and there'll be thousands of visitors to entertain in the main hub. Now, the big job has been given to award-winning instrumentalist, singer, songwriter, composer, actor, <gasps> director and producer. Please welcome to the cafe, Tama Waipara. Yeah! Welcome along. That's a lot of things that you can do and you can do them really, really well. This is a big job. Though. So what's your role with the World Masters Games? Um, so I'm senior program manager at Auckland Arts Festival mm -hmm. and I've been brought in to program the entertainment hub at Queen's Wharf for 10 days from April 22nd to the 30th. That's exciting. It's very exciting. It's quite daunting because, you know, it's a broad demographic from 25 to 101, 28,000 participants. And, and you are and, and you're showcasing New Zealand, I guess, and its culture to all these visitors, so no pressure. No, well, that part... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm really passionate and excited about all of the artists who are involved, and that's the best thing about what I do, is actually getting to show them off. Yeah. So it's less about what I do and, and more about them. Well, let's talk about them in a moment, but I do want to talk about you <laughs> right now, because you've done so many things, but we've, you've also um, scored the movie for Lee Tamahori's movie Mahana, didn't you? Uh, with Mahuya Bridgman Cooper as well. How yeah. did that all come around? Uh, well, we were given the opportunity by uh, Robin Scholes, the producer, to mm. pitch to Lee. And um, so we went in and, you know, it's, it's an area of, and a time uh, of New Zealand's sort of literary magnificence with Witi Himaira that mm. I was passionate about. And it's set in the, f what, is it 50s it's set in? Yeah, 50s, yeah. 60s in, in East Cape and Gisborne. Had you done anything like that before? Any music, any uh, movie scoring? Not, not for movies, no. I've done documentaries and sort of little things. Um, worked on television and jingles and things like that. Worked for theatre, sound design, but this was huge. Yeah, it's a great thing to have in your CV. I oh, know, he's so humble, isn't he? He's funny yeah. awkward talking uh, yeah. about <laughs> himself, I think. I well, <laughs> Mahuya, who was the co-composer, mm. was really a huge part of that right. as well. And had he not been part of it, I don't think I would have been able to do it. Well, when yeah. you look, Tama, at your accolades, you know, Silver Scroll winner, Tui winner, you've scored for movies, you've just done so much. What do you enjoy the most? Uh, well, I, I mean, I have to say I'm daily inspired by other artists. I'm fundamentally just a groupie. And um, <laughs> getting to see other people sort of flourish and do their thing and, and maybe show, show someone to someone else that they don't know, know yeah. about yet, that's, that's something I'm passionate about. Who have you collaborated with in the past? Oh, um, a lot of great people. Uh, Nathan Haynes, Annie Crummer, Emily King. Uh, Wow. John Tuka, Julia Dean, Jennifer oh, Leland. You've done, uh, them, you've done, done them all. So mm. who would you like to, to collaborate with? Anyone oh, wow. in the world, who would it be? Anyone in the world. Kate Bush. Oh, <gasps> there yes. you go. I didn't expect yes. that. Yes. Nobody does. I, I, I would love to, absolutely love to hear that. I love Kate Bush. Yeah, I think she's an amazing artist. She's... And there are so many sort of echoes of, of Kate Bush still around so cool. well the, the, look incredible man to be i guess looking after the entertainment hub at the cloud now this is a free event that people can come down and see so who are we going to be expecting at the cloud um who's coming yeah or who, who are we going to see i want to see who, who's going to be performing <laughs> yeah so there are two sort of uh, i suppose the cloud we're taking over and and it becomes a space called toy order and that really just means a living gallery so Tāmoko artists, uh, raranga, whakairo, weaving, carving, whao tapu, who are the sacred chisels of Tāmaki Makaurau, uh, mana whenua, iwi-based carvers, are creating cool. a pare, a sort of great big work um, across the duration of the event. And people can go in and have a look at people all this? People can come in and great. the whole point of it is that it's a living gallery. Yeah. It's Love not it. a museum. It's a place where you can see Māori contemporary and traditional arts coming to life. That's cool. And what over in the, the shed, yeah, yeah, performing. And in the, in, in the shed, uh, we have artists throughout. Tammy Nelson, who you've just yes. talked about, who is an incredible artist and performer and human. Your Annie Crummer's dad Annie too. Crummer, yeah. Will Crummer and the Rarotongans, oh. who are a favourite of mine. Uh, Will Crummer's just amazing. And um, he brings a real flavour of Rarotonga into the cloud. We're trying to cross as many genres and 
demographies as possible. This is brilliant because you've got to you know, cater for those 25 yeah. to 101 year olds. I yeah. love it. I think you do a <laughs> tremendous job with it. Hey, thank you for stopping by. My pleasure. I'm sure you've got a lot on your plate at the moment. <laughs> Thanks for making the time. The festivities will kick off on Queen's Wharf from Saturday the 22nd of April through to the Games closing ceremony on the 30th. For more details, you can check out the website.